Tesla just announced their second mega pack factory located in China. And that factory is supposed to be up and ready by 2025, doing about 10,000 mega packs every single year. But if you wanna talk about a big sheesh moment is the fact that Tesla Energy one day is gonna be a much bigger business than their full self-driving and the actual vehicle part of Tesla. If you take a look at this chart here, we see S-curves on top of S-curves, starting with EVs, then FSD, then energy. And then we got the bot, which had, which too early for the bot to see how it's going to be. But for the energy part, it's starting to become more clear as we go forward. So in this video, we wanna look at how Tesla energy can really contribute to Tesla stock and how it could take it to new heights because it is a sheesh moment. I keep saying sheesh moment a lot in this video, but hey, sheesh. So if you guys are ready, smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go. Before we go to the spreadsheet, there's something that I wanna share with you guys, which I found pretty darn interesting. I was doing some research and I came across this Torque News. Now I'm not too sure if this is a very credible place to get your news from, but I found this article very interesting. Now this article was written by Jeremy Johnson on April 9th, so very recently. And he says here in the article is that Tesla's building a second mega pack factory in China. At least eight more are coming. I'm just like, bruh, eight more? Who is leaking info to this guy? And so obviously when I read it, it's more of his opinion, but his opinion is pretty interesting. I want to go through it with you guys. Now the link of this article is going to be in the description. So if you guys want to go ahead and give it a full read, it's pretty interesting, but I'm going to take the key spots here that I found really interesting. And one of the spots here is he says, he thinks, even though he's being conservative here, is that a Tesla will eventually build eight more of these mega factories in locations where they are already giga factories for cars. His predictions on new mega pack factories are in Germany, which makes sense because of the Berlin factory, giga factory there. Another one in China, Texas, because of giga Texas, that makes sense. India, Australia, Japan, South Korea, and South America, and Mexico, because of the giga factory gonna be made there, which makes sense. You know, having a mega pack factory right next to giga factory makes, you know, makes sense. But he doesn't stop there. He says that, that he could see up to 20 of these factories being built far into the future. Let's just say 2040, because that made that that's more realistic. Now, personally, I have no idea, so I took it to you guys on Twitter and YouTube, and this is what you guys said. On Twitter, even though it's about almost 70 votes, 43% of you guys said three to six more. But on YouTube, with over 700 votes, 38% said three to six, and 36% said 10 plus more, which is neck and neck which is pretty darn insane but i got pretty curious why three to six more on youtube and twitter it's very identical for this specific numbers and according to dan Carew, shout out to you my man you said that four to six each one being co-located with a giga factory and have an annualized run rate of 150 gigawatt hours each and he further explained that having six factories it would be 25 percent of the 3210 gigawatt hours noted in master plan part three which makes sense. On top of that, co-locating mega and giga factories allows talent to move between both and shares fixed costs, which it's facts, that's that's facts. So that's pretty interesting. You guys are trying to connect the dots with the master plan part three and this, which makes sense. Personally, I believe Tesla's gonna make mega pack factories with every giga factory that they're going to make. Elon did say that by 2030, he expects to have about 10 to 12 gigafactories for Tesla to have around that many gigafactories. So knowing that, I do believe 10 to 12 mega pack factories is gonna happen. So I do believe that another 10 more is coming sooner or later. But nonetheless, eight mega pack factories to 10 mega pack factories, it's around that range that we're all expecting, except for Jeremy. He's saying about 20 by 2040, which is a sheesh moment. But let's go to the spreadsheet and see how this will impact the stock price. If you guys are ready, man. Now smash that like button, man. Come on. Here's the Tesla Mega Pack chart. Now, guys, know that we are just focusing on the Mega Pack, right? There's no solar energy, there's no power wall, there's no solar panels, none of that. It's just purely Mega Packs because we got numbers for that to actually estimate and project. Right off the bat, let's go ahead and put 2 million for price per unit. Right now, it's around 2.5 million. It's just insane. Two, two million, let's just say that for the average. 20% operating margin, shares are standing at 3.5 and a PE of 20. Now there's going to be two factories that's going to be fully ramped up by 2025 or 2026, the latest. And each mega pack factory can do about 10,000 units. So we have two of them now, that's 20,000. So let's go ahead and put 20,000 here. And damn, look at all that. Total revenue of 4 billion. Then we got the profits of 8 billion. And then we got with a 20 PE, that is a 4 
46 bucks per share and a market cap 160 billion dollars just the mega pack alone what's what's tesla's market cap right now like just below 600 billion you're telling me that by 2030 or by 2026 2027 tesla's gonna be worth make a pack alone is gonna be worth 20 to 30 percent of what tesla is now just on the make a pack alone that's insane that's crazy and i don't know this that, that's crazy then if that's the case then maybe there's a reason why i'm going all into tesla stock i have no idea but anyways with 20,000 units being sold, we get about 40 billion revenue and 8 billion in profits. Now, obviously, this is with two make a pack factories. Majority of you guys are saying six more factories are going to be made, which would make it eight. And if each are making 10,000 units, do the math, it's about 80,000 units. If you go ahead and put that in, that's $160 billion in revenue. Give that a 20% profit rate. That's $32 billion in profits with a 20 PE, 180 bucks per share at a market cap, $640 billion. That's more than what the market cap is now. And that's just with, I don't know, it's, sheesh. If we go ahead and increase it to 10 mega pack factories, obviously that's 100,000, 200 billion in revenue, 40 billion in profits, 20 PE, just about almost 230 bucks per share and a market cap almost reaching a trillion that's insane that's crazy now most of you guys might go like no 20 pe is too much let's go down to 15 pe but nonetheless like that's 600 billion even more than what the market cap is right now sheesh but let's get more crazy let's say by 2040 all right let's say 2030 2040 they're gonna have 20 factories like how jeremy said that's about 200,000 mega packs a year. I'm sure the price won't be 2 million at that time. I think it'll be, you know, less, maybe one and a half, one and a quarter. Let's just say 2 million with the numbers that we have right now. And obviously that's a double 400 billion in revenue and 80 billion in profits alone with a 15 PE. That's a market cap of $1.2 trillion, twice the market cap as what it is now. That's crazy. Stock price of over 340 bucks per share. That's. <sighs> That's what I'm saying. Tesla Energy Man is going to take Tesla stock to new heights. And let's go look at that right now in the stock price prediction chart that has everything in it in 2030 and in 2040 with this 20 mega pack factory. It's going to be insane. Smash that like button. Let's go. Here is my 2030 stock price prediction. Almost 14.5 million vehicles have been sold by Tesla. Not 20. Don't bash on me. I'm just saying that 2030, I don't think Tesla's going to reach 20 million vehicles unless they do like another factory, gigafactory built by next year so two gigafactories being built by next year they'll do 20 million but by 2032 2033 latest but 14 almost reaching 14.6 million vehicles sold in 2030 with thirty eight thousand dollars being the average selling price 20 percent in operating margin as you guys can see over half a trillion dollars in just vehicle sales and 110 billion dollars in total profits for the vehicles which is insane fsd is arguable because i put a one-time fee of 29,000. right now it is 15,000, and they may increase it again but maybe by 23 they'll just remove it completely and just have it as a subscription base solely i don't know i'm just guessing here but 30,000 for a one-time fee for fsd that's what i put here for 2030 again it's arguable and here we got 63 billion dollars in total of fsd sales and about over 38 billion in fsd profits with that being 60 percent of the sales of fsd is going to be profits for tesla because fsd is just a software and based on my own prediction i'm saying tesla energy revenue by 2030 is going to be 131 billion and about 25 billion in profits nonetheless with all that it looks like 1632 bucks per share could be the stock price by 2030 and a market cap over six trillion dollars now you guys may be saying a 30 pe is too much a 30 pe makes sense about 1400 bucks per share market cap almost reaching 5.2 trillion and my own prediction price target for tesla by 2030 is 1413 but again it's just a prediction a prediction alone not facts do your own dd when it comes to this case but let's go ahead and let's go back to 35 pe and let's add the mega pack here so first we said eight mega pack factories which would give us 80,000 units each priced at 2 million which will give it a total revenue of 160 and profits of 32 billion let's go ahead and add that in 160 60 billion and 32 wow look at that the formula is uh very close to my prediction which is nice and that's about 1700 bucks per share and a market cap almost reaching 6.3 trillion dollars with a 35 pe 
sheesh moment right there let's reduce it down to a 30 pe 14.56 so not not too bad at all now if you guys want to get more bearish we can reduce it down to a 25 pe or even a 20 pe from 9.71 to 12.14 would be the stock prices if you do 20 to 25 and look at the market cap man from three and a half trillion 3.6 trillion to 4.5 trillion that's, that, that's insane but all depends how tesla is in 2030 if they're growing rapidly which i do think they will continue to grow rapidly because you know You'll have the vehicles, you'll have the FST, and you have the energy, which will be bigger than all of them. I think a 30 PE makes sense. And we're going to stick to 30 PE for all the scenarios here. Now, this is what you get with eight mega pack factories. Let's increase it to 10 mega pack factories with 100,000 units per year. That's about 200 billion in revenue and 40 billion in profit. So let's go ahead and change that. With a 30 PE, that's 15, 21 bucks per share and a market cap of 5.6 trillion dollars. That is a sheesh moment right there. But, you know, I do think the energy part of Tesla is going to be a whole lot bigger than what we see here. Because if you look at it, total FSD sale is about over 63 billion. Then we get total energy revenue of 200 billion. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe 20% is a bit too low when it comes to Tesla's energy profits. Now, again, we have the solar panels we got the power wall and the soul and other solar things that tesla has that's not included here but when you look at the revenue part of it man tesla energy dwarfs fsd but it still doesn't dwarf the vehicle section of tesla it's still i mean look, look at that over half a trillion dollars in sales if you have the full 10 mega fa mega pack factories it's not even half of that yet. So I think we are missing a few other elements here. Again, the solar energy, power wall, all that kind of stuff. But I do think there's going to be other parts of it as well, which we don't know yet. Again, we're just going based off the things that we do know and we can't project on. And this is mega pack alone. If you add on some other things, it's going to be just a whole different number that I can't comprehend right now. But guys, look at the impact of this. Look at this. Let's remove the energy and profits and let's see how that's going to impact the stock price and the total revenue and net income. So we've got 1521 as a stock price at 5.6 trillion in market cap. Total revenue is almost at 820 billion and net income is almost at 188 billion. Let's go ahead and remove that. Look at that from 1521 to 1197 that's like a 30 percent 25 30 percent that is insane that is crazy and that's why i say tesla energy is gonna take it to new heights and this is only the mega packs so sheesh moment right there and look at the revenue from 820 trillion billion not trillion billion to 620 from profits being 187 billion to 147 billion that that's that is a big difference but let's get more crazy and let's get more further into the future by 2040 with the 20 mega pack factories and let's see how that will look like and bam as you guys can see i have here about 42 and a half million vehicles delivery sold by 2040 but the average selling price is going to be around 25,000 in 2040 this could be arguable all depends what you guys think and comment down below what do you guys think this is going to be selling on the average by 2040 I'm sure there's going to be a cheaper version of the cheaper version coming out in 2040. We're also going to give that a 20% operating margin, which would be over $200 billion in profits. I pretty much removed all credits because by 2040, man, I don't know who's going to be making ice cars, gas cars at that time. So I don't think there's going to be any credits there at all for Tesla. I kept the FSC the same rates as 2030. Again, I, I don't think there's going to be a one-time fee. You don't need to do a one-time fee by 2030 or 2040 it's gonna be more of a subscription based so to stay conservative i just kept it at 29,000. but look at the energy man 400 billion that's what you get when you have twice the amount 200,000 units being produced yearly and you're selling them at a two million price point obviously and a profit of 80 billion dollars now i do think it's conservative because look at the fsd profit it's not going over that and yet the energy side is still not as big as the s curve s chart as we see here i mean look at that chart energy is a goliath compared to the ev and the fsd but here it's not as much but again we're just solely focusing on mega packs alone if you add everything else in it's finished but nonetheless we got a total revenue of 1.6 almost 1.7 trillion dollars and net income almost reaching 400 billion which is insane give that a 30 pe and look at 105 epa that's insane give that a 30 pe we get a stock price of third three thousand one hundred sixty four bucks per share 
at a market cap reaching $12 trillion. And again, guys, we are still diluting shares as well. I'm sure by 2040, if they do a whole bunch of buybacks, I think we could see the shares of standing being pulled back to three billion, and that will make the stock price of four thousand bucks per share. That's insane. Now I get it. I know what you guys are saying. The thirty PE is too high for these numbers. Twenty PE would make more sense because the number is huge, and you know, for them to keep growing at at a, at a rate with these high market shares, could be unsustainable. And okay, fine. That's twenty PE. I mean, eight trillion market cap by twenty forty, two thousand one hundred nine bucks per share. I mean, it makes, I mean, more than a 10x than what it is now. And we're not even including the bot. By 2040, if Tesla is serious about the bot, then forget it. This is, I don't know. I can't comprehend the bot right now. And the energy is not as maximized as I think it is. I think by 2040, Tesla energy should be a whole bigger business and a whole bigger and important part of Tesla's business than the vehicle side of it, to be honest with you. But sheesh, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. So there you guys have it, man. I mean, look, Tesla energy is gonna take Tesla stock to new heights and this is just mega packs alone. I'm very interested to see what else they're gonna include in this energy part of the business. We got the mega packs, we got the solar energy, we got the power wall, and we got so many other things that's coming, but I really wanna see numbers and I really wanna see estimations and projections so we can model it here and see what the stock price could be in the future. As you guys know, I'm going all into Tesla stock, so it's very important for me to know what the potential of these things that Tesla are doing are. After all, it's these potentials and these numbers that we can project and estimate in the future that we can actually see and plan our investments properly, especially in Tesla stock. And hey, I can share it with you guys here on YouTube and we can be become wealthy together. But nonetheless, let's take things step by step by seeing what this quarter Q1 is going to be in terms of earnings and EPS. Check out this video and remember that number because that's what I think that's going to hit in this quarter coming up. But thank you guys for watching. You guys can support me by becoming a channel member or getting some go all in merch because I am all in on Tesla stock pretty much. And subscribe for more and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.